polar bears, Earth's largest living land carnivores. Sitting at the apex of the Arctic food chain, polar bears have no natural predators. These majestic creatures spend the short spring months foraging for food to build their essential fat reserves ready for the longer summer season. Despite their seemingly untouchable position at the top of the world, their future is in severe jeopardy. A very real but almost invisible enemy is threatening their survival. So at the moment, the bears along Hudson Bay uh, are waiting for the sea ice to come in. It's getting close to winter. The bears know it's getting close to winter and they're waiting for that sea ice. So as soon as that comes in, they'll go out. But the, at the moment, the sea ice is taking longer to come in and it's a shorter winter. So it's thawing out earlier in the season, which means the bears have got a shorter time to hunt for their seals and a longer time to go without any food. This rapid depletion of sea ice is a direct consequence of a warming climate, the single greatest threat to the polar bear's survival. Right now, the climate change we're seeing is mostly driven by human activity. The reason why this Arctic sea ice isn't lasting as long is because when we burn fossil fuels like coal, gas and oil that supply us with energy and fuels our transport habits, it builds up in the atmosphere and it creates a blanket and that blanket holds in the heat and it traps the heat and as it traps the heat the planet gets warmer which means it's affecting the Arctic sea ice and affecting the polar bear's habitat. There are a number of myths about climate change uh, that uh, continue to circulate. One of those myths is that the warming of the globe that we've seen over recent decades could be natural in nature. The climate has, has gone from extremely warm times during the Cretaceous to extremely cold uh, periods like during the last ice age and those changes have been driven by natural forces, nothing to do with, with our activities. But just like uh, forest fires have always happened in the past, uh, it doesn't mean that you know, we can't have arsonists setting fire to forests now. You don't get a free pass for changing the climate just because it's changed before for different reasons. If we all act together by walking and using our cars less, using public transport, insulating our homes and turning down our heating slightly, we can all reduce the amount of carbon emissions that we're putting into the environment. We can actually stop climate change and reverse it, which means a healthier planet for everyone, including the polar bears. The Yorkshire Wildlife Park Foundation and, and through Project Polar is really trying to promote and educate all the visitors that come to the park and on a, on a wider basis really about how you can stop and reverse climate change. So we really want to make sure there's a habitat left for polar bears left in the wild and by creating these fantastic reserves for polar bears in captivity the public can come here, they can learn about polar bears, learn about climate change, and hopefully we can make a difference. We've designed Project Polar to try and replicate their natural habitat, which is the Arctic tundra. So this time of year, it'd be very much like this. It'd be a fairly warm day, there'd be no snow and ice, they'd be on dry land. And then when winter comes, when we get snow and ice, that's when the sea ice comes in, in their natural range, and they go out onto that sea ice to catch their prey, which is mainly seals. Project Polar at Yorkshire Wildlife Park is one, about welfare for polar bears, but two, it's also about conservation, and that's conservation, so that's a breeding programme within in captivity at other zoos and parks throughout Europe, but also about conservation in the wild, so that's educating the visitors and trying to encourage and influence behaviour change to, to stem the, 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 the problem of, of climate change. And, and also it's fundraising, so Yorkshire Wildlife Park Foundation supports Polar Bears International, which is out there in Canada working with trying to protect the polar bears in the wild, and also all about climate change and, and, and education about climate change. We're working with Polar Bears International to bring an important message about the conservation of this iconic species. 
Polar bears are considered the canary in the coal mine for climate change. Here in western Hudson Bay, this particular population of polar bears was one of the first to show the impacts of climate change. We've seen changes in body condition in bears. We've seen changes in survival in relation to shifting sea ice dynamics. And we've also seen changes in reproduction. There used to be around 1,200 polar bears here in western Hudson Bay, and now there's around 935 bears. Bears on shore here in western Hudson Bay fast for several months every year, and that fasting period is getting longer and longer. But there is still hope. The latest scientific studies have shown that we are not too late to make changes and stop a climate catastrophe. The choices that we make today determine our future. How much carbon are we going to continue producing? If we stay on our current pathway, we're going to see rapid changes to a world that looks nothing like the world that we grew up in, within our lifetime and definitely within our children's lifetime. Whereas if we can wean ourselves off of all of this carbon, the world will look like a very different place, a place where animals like the polar bear have the time and the ability they need to adapt. Not just about the polar bear though, it's about us that our agricultural systems have time to adapt, our energy systems, our water systems, to make sure that we as humans will be okay. Yorkshire Wildlife Park are taking action against climate change to ensure our natural environment is preserved and protected. By implementing green policies, Yorkshire Wildlife Park hopes to minimize its environmental impact and become a carbon neutral organization. Here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park, we're leading the way in protecting the natural environment through sustainable conservation. And we're doing this by implementing a comprehensive strategy to help reduce our carbon footprint. But the park has installed PV panels, we've got a biomass boiler, we've got a fleet of electric vehicles to run around the park. We recycle and reduce anything that comes in or goes out of the park. And also we've got a tree planting scheme, which is great for the environment, but also for the native species here at Yorkshire Wildlife Park. We're now encouraging visitors to Yorkshire Wildlife Park and the general public to join in and help us save the environment. Now our campaign is 18 degrees or below. So if you can simply just turn down your thermostat at home to 18 degrees or below, you can save a huge amount of carbon and thus save the polar bears, save our environment and save yourself some money on your utility bills. We as humans have caused this problem. However, collectively, we can also fix it. Time still remains to save polar bears if we act immediately to greatly reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. This means everybody, you, me, families, businesses and governments around the globe. By pledging to take action today, you are taking the first step towards not only helping save the polar bear from extinction, but securing a better and healthier planet for our future generations to prosper.